you must capable of classifying the accounts between person real and nominal and you must know the golden rules of account it affects at least two accounts so you need to record both the accounts one must be debited and one must be credited debit what comes in credit what goes out when you purchase an asset the goods is coming in so you need to debit purchase everyone i am megana from the department of commerce lecturing in vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence we are in the session 2 of unit 2 subject accountancy in today's class let us discuss with the journal entry so let us start with today's session in today's session let us discuss with double entry system of accounting journal entries and basic journal entries so let us start with today's session double entry system of accounting is a business transaction involves exchange of equal value or benefit that is receiving of some benefit of some value and the giving of some other benefit of equal value a business transaction means receiving some benefit of some value and in return giving some benefit of some value that means the same value should be given in other form both are benefited one from other sources and someone from other source so both are benefited here double entry system says both the entry that means when a transaction made someone is giving means someone is receiving so both the entry should be recorded in the books of accounts double entry says record both the entry in a books of account a double entry system has two equal and corresponding sides known as debit and credit a transaction in double entry bookkeeping always affects at least two accounts always includes at least one debit and one credit double entry system have corresponding and opposite entry opposite transaction so it affect at least two accounts one must be a debit and one must be a credit it affects at least two accounts so you need to record both the accounts one must be debited and one must be credited in simple double entry system of bookkeeping is recording both the entries of accounts that means how it affects for debit and credit it is double entry system of accounting next journal journal means a day book or daily record in simple journal is a book which records daily transaction it is first book it's a original entry in which all the transaction first recorded chronologically that means journal book is the first book it is the original book all the transaction which have made from the business is firstly recorded in the journal that is in a chronological order that is date format according to the date the transaction has taken place it should be recorded chronologically it helps from the source of document it helps the business to get the information easily so journal is the process of recording transaction in a book chronological order it is journal the format of journal is date particular lf debit credit date column is meant for recording the date on which particular transaction has taken place it is meant for recording date on which particular transaction taken place the date is meant for recording the date particular is meant for recording the account which is affected that is debit and credit 
recording the account which is affected. One must be debited and one must be credited. Every transaction affect at least of two accounts. One should be debit and one should be credit. It should be written in a particular column. While writing in a particular column, first debit entry should be recorded. Which account is debited? You should write debit transaction first. Next, giving some space and starts with two. Which account is credited? In the second line, you should start with two. Which account is credited? Next, ledger folio. LF means ledger folio is meant to record the page number of ledger. For example, you have written cash is debited. In ledger account, in which page the ledger account is opened. So, you need to write the page number of ledger. After finishing the journal entry as well as the ledger account only, you will fill ledger folio column. Next, data. Debit column is meant to record the amount which is debited. It is meant to record debit and credit column is meant to record the amount which is debited. So, this is the format of journal entry. Before we are starting for doing the journal entry problem, we should learn how to pass a transaction into journal. How you should write the Entries in a journal. We learn in this session. For example, Raj comments business with cash. Before moving on to the problem, we should know the golden rules of account and types of account. You must capable of classifying the accounts between person, real and nominal and you must know the golden rules of account. That is... For personal account, debit the receiver, credit the giver. For real account, debit what comes in, credit what goes out. For nominal account, debit all expenses and losses, credit all income and gains. Personal account, debit the receiver, credit the giver. Real account, debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Nominal account, debit all the expenses and losses, credit all the incomes and gains. Personal account includes individual, firm, industry. Industry. Real account includes all asset and liability. Nominal account includes all expenses and losses and incomes and gains. First, you must identify whether it is a personal account or nominal account or it is an income or expense. First, you should identify what account is. For example, Ram comes business with rupees 5000. Here, the Raj is a person. 
it comes under personal account and he commenced business with rupees 5000 that means raj is starting a business with cash of rupees 5000 here the cash is asset cash is asset and raj is a person so for person what is the rule debit the receiver credit the giver here raj is giving the cash for starting the business so raj is giving so raj account should be credited and for business cash is coming in he is giving cash for start the business so cash is coming in for the business so cash is real account cash comes in so you need to debit the cash cash account data to person raj is bringing cash as a capital so you need to credit capital account he is bringing cash in the form of capital of rupees 5000 5000 this is first entry cash account data to capital account next bought goods from kesho for cash rupees 1000 here purchase goods from kesho here transaction made that is purchase you have purchased some goods from kesho for cash rupees 1000 here purchase made from kesho for cash whenever they given purchase or sale made in the form of cash just you can ignore the person you are made a purchase for cash so here purchase of goods and cash is considered goods is asset that means your purchasing is asset purchase is considered as asset cash is also an assets just apply the real account rule debit what comes in credit what goes out when you purchase an asset the goods is coming in so you need to debit purchase and you are paying cash while purchasing in return you will pay cash so cash is going out you need to credit cash purchase means coming in cash is going out so purchase account data to cash account of rupees 1000 of rupees 1000 next sold furniture to raghav on credit rupees 500 here sales made but they have not mentioned for cash so this is credit sales so raghav is considered and the sale of furniture furniture is an asset Raghav is a person comes under personal account. So, apply personal account rule. Raghav is person, debit the receiver, credit the giver. You are sold furniture to Raghav and on credit. So, that means Raghav is receiving. Raghav is receiving the goods. Furniture is asset. So, Real account. Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. For business, furniture is going out in the form of sales. So, you need to credit sales. Furniture is going out in the form of sales. So, you need to credit furniture. 
Raghav is receiving the furniture. So, you need to debit Raghav. Raghav account debtor to sales account of rupees 500 of rupees 500 next sold goods for cash rupees 800 here you have made a sale for cash rupees 800 here also sale is considered sale means that is goods goods is asset cash is also asset apply the rule debit what comes in credit what goes out here when you sell the goods the goods is going out so you need to credit the sales and when you made a sale you receive the cash cash is coming in you need to debit the cash so cash is coming in cash account data to sales account how much 800 of rupees 800 and the last one cash purchase of rupees 600 here you made a purchase for cash of rupees 600 here purchase of an goods that is an asset cash is also an asset Just apply the real account rule comes in what goes out here when you made a purchase the asset is coming in so you need to debit the purchase credit the cash cash is going out so you need to debit what comes in and you need to credit what goes out here purchase the goods is coming in and cash is going out purchase account data to purchase account data to cash account of rupees 600 of rupees 600 here first you need to identify which account is this and what is the rule for that account and then you start posting it to journal. So, when you know the types of accounts and the rule for particular accounts, it will become easier. Personal account includes individual firm, industry, real account, assets and liability, nominal account, expenses and losses. Mainly, the double entry system of bookkeeping is maintained to balance the account. So, if there is any imbalance that means you are getting imbalance in debit and credit means it shows that something is wrong so if it is balanced you are recorded in a proper way so it helps in identifying the error it acts as a error detection tool so double entry system is help in recording transaction for both accounts it will affect both accounts one is debit and one is credit this is all about journals as well as double entry system of bookkeeping in the next session we start with the journal entry problem thank you